The Nun 2. The Nun 2. I went to, uh, I went and seen this movie yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, I had, I've been working a lot of overtime. Uh, I got a little message out to each video from here on out. Uh, for those of y'all that watch this kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, I got off work yesterday and I put nine hours in on Saturday. Because, you know, when you work overtime at a factory, you make good money. So, I've been averaging 11 hours a day. And then nine on Saturday. They asked me to work Sunday. I was like, no. Nah. I said, God rested on the seventh day. I used to do a lot of Sundays, but not anymore. But anyway, back to none too. Uh, so I got off work yesterday, and I was really tired. I don't know if I wasn't feeling good or not, but I got off work. And uh, I was supposed to take my son out for his birthday, but I never heard from him. So I was like, well, he just must not want to go. So I was like, all right. So I said, uh, so I said, man, I'm driving home, you know. And I was like, oh, man, I got nine hours. And oh. I got nine hours in. Thank God I got nine hours in because I wasn't feeling it. So I was just going to work eight and get out of there. But I'm trying to get all the money I can. So anyway, I, I pulled up in the driveway and I said, hmm. I said, it's three. It was 340. I got off work at 320. I got home about 350 or something like that. So I pulled up in the driveway. I pulled out my Cinemark app and it said none. And I said, hmm. I said, I wonder if that's playing. You know, what time that playing? You know, right? So I was like, it was three. It was 355 at this moment. So, it said, I looked and it said 420. I said, 420? I said, shoot. Man, I beelined in the house, threw my stuff on the kitchen table, uh, let the cat out for a little bit because she's been sick, and then I threw some food on the floor so she could eat it because I know it was time for her to eat. I wanted to eat her a little bit of food. So, she went back in there, and I shut the door because she's been throwing up on my carpet. I got to take her to the vet. But anyway, so I left, I left about, I don't know, about 12 after 4. So, you know... Because when you go see a movie, the movie starts a lot of... There's a ton of trailers before they start off the movie. So anyway, I go in there. And I was kind of happy because the, I, I, the movies like that, I like to have a lot of people in there. I didn't want to be like packed or anything. But there were some teenagers in there, some middle-aged people in there, some people my age in there. So the movie started. And I ain't gonna lie. I, I know I always tell you guys I like the movie. But normally, as you guys notice these videos, I I, I like the movie. Uh uh, Tessa Farmega uh, plays uh, Sister Irene, and then you got uh, Storm Reed. She's starting to get some more work, man. That's good to see her in the movie. Uh, Storm Reed was in The Last of Us, and she's also was in one of those uh, the movie on uh, Netflix. Uh, it's uh, uh, one of those things where you, you know her parents come up missing or something. Anyway, Storm Reed was in there, but Tessa Farmega, you know that's her older sister plays in the Conjuring series. But anyway, the hours like. The Nun 2 is like a, it's a horror thriller, and it's like, a, you know, it's an hour and 50 minutes, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score is sitting at 45%, so it's not very good, but, you know, it, it's a matter of opinion, you know what I mean? But uh, I was in there, it looked like a lot of people in there, you know, enjoyed the movie. Uh, but really, I'll be honest with you, somebody else, I... I like the movie. I I I I, don't, I love the setting. I love the way that the movie felt. Uh, you know, I felt like I was trying to learn something uh, as I was watching this movie. They did a good job of uh, this is a this is a step up from the Nun. Uh, uh, a lot of people was disappointed in Nun, but this is this is a lot better than the Nun. Uh, I think the Nun Two is a lot better, but it didn't it didn't make as much money as the Nun. But overall. I think I, they stayed canon to the to the nun, which was the nun too. They brought back a couple of people that was in uh, the nun, but they didn't bring back the guy that was the pastor guy. I can't think of his name. But anyway, uh, this thing, uh, the nun too, opened up at thirty-two million dollars. So you know, I thought that was pretty good for the nun. I was saying, you know, it's so weird when I was in there because I had to start doing my talk about my movies differently. I was like, when I went in there, I was like, man, I was, I was, I pulled up and I. I parked my truck way away because I didn't want nobody to bang into my doors. So I'm like, man, I hope the Nun 2 is number one at the box office. I said, it'd be nice if they opened up at like a, you know, 26 or $28 million, you know, and they opened up at $32 million. So uh, I thought that was pretty good. So I was happy that it was number one, uh, especially after the performance of The Last Demeter. I wish The Last Demeter would have, the, vo the, the Last Voyage of Demeter would have opened up at uh, number one, but it just didn't connect with people for some reason. But anyway, uh, you know, I love this Conjuring Universe thing. I really do. And it was so cool because, man, I got off work. I've been working a lot of hours. And I'm like, man, you know, I'm getting ready to work out here in the next 20 minutes. And I'm like, man, 
you know, I, I want to go see a movie, man, because I've been working so many hours, and it felt good, because, you know, I went in there, and a lot of my friends don't get into these type of movies, so, well, I don't have that many friends, but, you know, I know a lot of people, but, uh, I, I really enjoyed this movie, and when, like I said, real quick, it, it just, I felt like I, I don't know if you call it pacing, but I felt like it paced real well, I was kind of tired, so, you know, this, this deserves a second watch, also, I, I'm definitely going to put this in my 4K, uh, collection and i'm quite sure you can catch this probably on hbo max i think it'll probably end up being on hbo max i'm not sure you know all these apps that have it be the first one to have it on there so if you want to watch it that way but uh it didn't do too bad but out of but uh it didn't do near as good as the nun the nun opened up in 2018 and it made 58.3 million dollars but out of all the conjuring movies that was kind of up under that same umbrella uh the curse of la Llorona. It opened up at $26.3 million. Annabelle, uh, Annabelle Comes Home, uh, it opened up at $20.2 million. And The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, it opened up at $24.1 million. So The Conjuring, I mean, and then The Nun came out in 2018, it opened up at $58.3 million. So it so the nun made $32.1 million, $32 million. Curse of La La Rona made $26.3 million in its opening weekend. Annabelle Comes Home came out in, I think in 20, I forgot the date, but it made $20.2 million in its opening. And then The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, it opened, it opened weekend, this box office opening weekend was $24.1 million. So, and then again, The Nun that came out in 2018, it opened up at $58.3 million. So, to me, personally, uh, I, I think it done pretty good. And I'm glad that's no more at the box office. And I like the movie. And it's definitely going to go in my, uh, uh, my 4K collection to go along with The Nun already. Uh, already own. I like that movie, but I get it. I know it has its issues, and I'm quite sure people find a lot of stuff wrong with this one, too. It was dark. There was a lot of darkness in this movie, but there was some kills in this movie that was kind of graphic, and I'm telling you what, if you, uh, you know, when you get this on 4K, man, I'm telling you, when I was in that theater, man, that, that sound design and the way that the, 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 the scares and the creepiness and stuff, but there was parts in there where I was actually sitting there saying to myself, now, why are they going in there? Why is she going in there? And, uh, excuse me, I, there was this parts in there, I'm like, come on. And then where they were at, you know, these, these sisters, man, they was taking care of these little girls, I guess, you know, it's kind of like a church thing. But I did like the aspect of, uh, you know, the religious aspect and all and all that, but, you know, like I said, I I liked I, I thought it was a good movie. I liked the creepiness, but uh, there was there was some good there was some good shots in here, and I thought the design, you know, of the movie itself was nice. So that's that's how I enjoy my movies because it just kept me coasting right along with the movie. You know what I mean? I just was coasting right along with the movie, and I was trying to figure out what what is this thing that this nun wants? You know, because it was this artifact that this nun wanted. And she was using one of the guys that was in the last movie, The Nun. She was using him as a vessel to get to this artifact that she was trying to get to. But you got to watch the movie to find out. But anyway, God bless. Take care. We'll catch you next video. We'll see you.